On behalf of Wyoming Family to Family Health Information Center, a collaboration between Wyoming Institute for Disabilities, also known as WIND, and Uplift, we are here today to bring you the presentation, Medical Home in Wyoming. Hi, my name is Nancy and I am a parent of a special needs child. My son has autism. Medical home in Wyoming is an important topic for families with special needs children. When my son was first diagnosed with autism at the age of two, we were overwhelmed with questions and we had no answers. It was with the help of many, many numerous individuals from different disciplines who helped my family determine the best practices and avenues to take to provide for my son's very unique needs. And I'm not alone. There are other families here in Wyoming who need help with their special needs children. Medical Home in Wyoming is a valuable resource that can help provide that for them. Here today with me to talk about Medical Home in Wyoming is Dr. Jonathan Medina. Hi. Thank you, Nancy. My name is Jonathan Medina. I am a family medicine specialist. I have a clinic in Cheyenne called Cheyenne Family Medicine and we are currently adopting the patient-centered medical home model. Today we are talking about medical home and this is a term that families may be familiar with or have heard but they may not know what a medical home is or how to determine if their primary care provider is participating in a medical home practice. Can you tell us, Dr. Medina, what is a medical home? Um, Nancy, families uh, need to understand that a medical home is not a house, it's not an office, it's not a hospital. It's not a place where anybody can go. Instead, it's a centralized approach to providing complete primary care. So for this approach, who is involved and how does it work? In a medical home model, Families work with a provider, can be a pediatric specialist, a family physician, uh, and together they partner with families to ensure that the medical and non-medical needs of the patient are met. From my knowledge, the medical home model really benefits families with special needs children. Yes. It is a benefit to families with uh, um, all types of special needs for their, for their children. Medical home is an inclusive support. Through medical home, providers uh, can help families um, coordinate ca specialty care, educational services, uh, out-of-home care, and uh, family support along with public and uh, private community services. Um, this goes beyond medical care. Uh, they include financial counseling, uh, dietitian consults, uh, help uh, with children with disabilities, and more. The resource needs vary and um, are specific to each family. This, this example, um, it sounds very similar to my experiences with my son, um, who was diagnosed with autism when he was two. He was diagnosed down at Children's Hospital in Denver. Um, and he was seen by an autism specialist who oversaw his care. Um, this individual helped coordinate additional therapy here in Laramie, and um, not for just autism-related services, but for non-autism-related services as well, as well as services that were non-autism-related within the Children's Hospital Network. Um, as a mom with a child who has special needs, um, I understand very well the medical and non-medical needs of an atypical child in a medical home model, um, a family like ours can get help with coordinating all of these services that are necessary for a child's well-being as well as for the family. Now, I've heard that there is a medical home initiative here in Wyoming, and it's called the Patient-Centered Medical Home. Can you talk about this Wyoming project a little more? The Patient-Centered Medical Home Initiative is a network of providers and hospitals here in Wyoming that utilize the medical home model. Um, pediatric clinics and family uh, practice clinics can benefit most from adopting the new way of, uh, of doing things. And that can better help families uh, by using the model in their practices. This uh, is coordinated effort through the Wyoming Institute of Population Health, which is a nonprofit organization. This, this sounds great, and I think a lot of families 
will want to use um, and could benefit from this initiative if they want to find out if their provider is participating or how they can find a provider who's participating, um, where can they go and what should they look for? The Wyoming Institute of Population Health main maintains a website uh, with additional information about the program and a map of locations for current practicing members. The, uh, I'm sorry, interesting family in interested families can access the website at Cheyenne Regional dot org forward slash sites forward slash Wyoming Institute of Population Health for more information and to con contact them for a complete list of providers. So anyone interested in learning more about the patient-centered medical home initiative should go online for more information and they can go on and again that website is CheyenneRegional.org forward slash sites forward slash Wyoming dash Institute dash of dash population dash health. Dr. Medina, what more can you share about the patient senator centered medical home initiative? Um, there are five important parts um, a provider follows in a patient centered medical home model. A provider practices mindful patient centered care, comprehensive care, care coordination, superior access to care, and a commitment to high clinical quality and services. What do you mean exactly by um, patient-centered? We use the word patient-centered because it means there is a partnership among the uh, practitioners, patients, and families uh, to make sure that the decisions respect the patient's and family's wants, needs, and uh, preferences, and that the families have the educational, the education and support they need to make decisions that play a part um, in the care of the patient. Can you, can you provide an example of um, patient-centered care? Yes. Uh, for example, we have many um, immigrants in our communities who place high importance on their families, um, religion and culture and uh, language, um, culture including um, multiple generations caring for one per patient. Patient-centered care provides family information in their native language uh, so that they support their values. That sounds extremely important. Can you explain, Dr. Medina, how do these practices approach comprehensive care? Comprehensive care means a team of providers is completely responsible for a patient's physical and mental health, which includes prevention and wellness care when the patients are very sick, as well as continuing care. For example, whether your child is sick or not, you would still want uh, to take them in for their um, wellness checks to ensure their development is proper and um, comprehensive care can identify more serious conditions. This, this sounds similar to my experience with my son. When he was at um, Children's Hospital, um, the autism specialist helped us get some genetic testing done for my son to ensure that he didn't have another condition that could be treated while he was still young. And during that time, it was very difficult because um, we weren't able to get the genetic testing done for a variety of reasons. Primarily, our insurance wouldn't approve for that. So this care provider helped ensure that we got um, an appointment with the geneticist. She helped petition our insurance company and in the end, we got the genetic testing done, and it, it was a lifesaver for us. So um, I can't tell you that without this comprehensive care at Children's Hospital, I'm not sure what our family would have done, and it was um, a lifesaver. Yeah, it sounds like you uh, received a, uh, an important component of the patient-centered medical home, uh, which is comprehensive uh, care coordination. Um, through the care coordination, a team organizes the different health care, uh, the different needs for the health care across the board, um, including specialists and hospitals, 
home health care, community services, and supports. The patient-centered medical home team helps you find what you need, such as transportation, durable medical equipment, home health avenue or home health care, and um, and avenues to help pay for them. The team uh, will respond quickly for requests for prior authorizations, uh, letters of medical necessity, um, and then uh, these can help you navigate uh, through the nebulous insurance requirements uh, and uh, these help to alleviate some of the pressures on the families as far as paying for these costs. Yeah, um, I, I have definitely benefited from comprehensive care um, and I did get very good patient-centered care while at Children's Hospital with all of my son's special needs. Can you tell us about another component of the model um, called accessible care? Providers who offer accessible care um, to patients offer the ability to access services without having to wait uh, in long after hours lines. Um, oftentimes the access is avail available electronically through uh, computer or telephone um, and at any time. By providing accessible care, um, there is improved communication with the families and the uh, medical home team. Uh, this access uh, means you can contact your provider um, after hours, on weekends, and even on holidays. I, I can absolutely relate to um, accessible care. Um, this part of the model I would benefited from at Children's Hospital. Um, even though I wasn't in Denver, when I had questions that were 10 o'clock at night, I was able to email my provider and ask her questions or follow-up questions about other services that my son may need or even little things that happened during that day that I was concerned about. And I would always receive um, a response from her. Um, sometimes she'd call me at 10 o'clock at night or other times her nurse would call me the next morning. And so having accessible care is essential to families and especially families who have special needs children. It's, it's, it's a great thing to hear. That is good to hear. The final component and perhaps the most important uh, is that patient-centered medical home providers are committed to quality and, and safety. Clinicians and staff make every effort to improve the quality of their services uh, they give so that the patient and the families are informed to make good decisions about their health care needs. The medical home team uh, will help families set short-term, long-term goals for their child. Uh, they will also work with them to create and update a written plan of care for your child's needs, both medically and non-medically and they will help you consider new and emerging um, treatment choices for your child's condition. Thank you. I can see how um, families can benefit from this model, and I think that you've done a good job of explaining how families could benefit from um, attending to a provider who has a medical home model in their, their program. You're welcome. It sounds like you had a good medical home experience in Colorado. Uh, at the Children's Hospital. We are bringing that quality of care for families here in Wyoming through the Patient-Centered medical, patient medical Home Initiative. This is, this is great information. And for families in Wyoming to know about this, um, how can the Patient-Centered Medical Home Initiative help families who have special needs children? And what I mean by that, for example, when my son was initially diagnosed with autism, he received services um, through early intervention, but then he also received services outside of that program and outside of those therapists through speech therapy. It was an independent program. And then on top of that, I took him to hippotherapy, and they were doing occupational therapy and speech therapy there with the horses at ARC. And then on top of that, he was also being seen by the Autism Treatment Network in Denver. And so I was coordinating a, as a mom and um, someone who is just kind of thrown into the mix of the world of autism, um, how to coordinate all of those efforts to make sure that 
each specialist was coordinating those efforts together on behalf of my, my son and vice versa. So how can the Patient-Centered Medical Home Initiative help families like myself? Children with special health care needs often require more specialized health care services. As you, as you described, this can be challenging for families um, in the coordination field. They may receive these services through different offices, doctors, therapists, and other providers focused on your child's health. As a result, your child's, uh, as a result of your child's complex condition, many different providers are required. You may need help organizing this care. A medical home provider can provide this assistance to those families. Uh, that's the purpose of the medical home. So a uh, patient-centered medical home care provider can um, assist with therapy-related services such as speech or occupational therapy. Yes. A uh, medical home provider helps coordinate the care needed for your child or family members. Most medical home practices do not provide the therapy themselves, uh, uh, but the practice will help schedule appointments um, and services required by your child. That is fantastic. Um, I can see that having a coordinator advocate on behalf of families with special needs children is instrumental in providing care for those children. Um, what about children who have appointments or needs that are outside of Wyoming? So for example, if they need to go to Children's Hospital in Denver, or they need to go to Billings, Montana, or even Utah for services, how can um, a service provider help with that? Um, the Cheyenne Children's Clinic works really closely with the Children's Hospital to do just that. They help coordinate specialty care uh, for your child, whether it's physical therapy, cardiology, cancer care. These services can occur at the Children's Hospital in Denver, primary children's in um, Salt Lake City, up in Montana. Um, the patient-centered medical home provider can help coordinate all of these. So this sort of service, um is this an additional cost for families needing it? This is not an additional cost. There are uh, the usual co-pays and um, deductibles that apply, but there is no extra cost. Uh, this is um, more comprehensive care for, uh, for patients and families. Thank you. Um, so I, I really enjoyed learning about the um, Patient Medical Home Initiative, and I'm really excited about this revolution of medical care here in Wyoming, as I know a lot of families will be as well. Um, and I think for families who have children with special needs, this is going to be um, helpful to them a great deal. So thank you. It was a pleasure, and I hope this information was useful both to families and physicians interested in joining the initiative. Uh, for more information, individuals can access the initiative's website at cheyenneregional.org slash sites slash Wyoming Institute of Population Health or visit My Patient Centered Medical Home Organization. Patients can also call area code 307-773-8142 or Bill Stangle at area code 307 773-8166 for help. Thank you for joining uh, myself and Dr. Medina today. And again, for more information and materials on medical home in Wyoming and other health care topics for children with special health care needs, please visit the Wyoming Family to Family Health Information Center website at www.uwyo.edu forward slash wind forward slash F to F.